what I want to talk about today is um, a little bit about my work in film music, and particularly uh, in documentary film music, because that's something I've become a bit of a specialist in. And it's been interesting to compare over the years how uh, the kinds of things that concern you when you're making music for fiction films uh, is slightly altered when you're working in the, f in the field of documentaries. So um, that's what I'm going to be looking at. I think it it's, it's very much depends on the context and on the director. Uh, most of the time I'm working with the same directors. Once I've worked with one, they generally come back, so I tend to work on the same films with the same directors. And um, with each director, I may have a very different approach. With Sally, for example, I mostly improvise. Um, with uh, Thomas Riedelsheimer, the R Rivers and Tides guy, I'm, I'm a composer in, the, in that film, so I'm actually writing the music down. And in that film, I had a huge amount of freedom to create a language which was specifically related to the images. So, yes, of course, I'm, I'm, I'm who I am. So my musical language is going to emerge. What I've learned from both of them is that less is always more. And I still vividly remember working with Peter. And by that time, I already knew that he didn't like to have too much there. So there was a long scene about a three-minute scene, and I was supposed to play through it. And um, I thought, well, I'm going to be very, very sparse, and I'm going to keep it really just do exactly what's required in the right place. It's going to be fine. And so we did a take, and I was very pleased with myself. And Peter said, uh, yeah, yeah, Fred, that's great, but you're going to need to do a lot less. <laughs> this was a very good lesson. In fiction film... When you start working in the, in the more fun end, uh, you're very often working, um, this is something I've learned from, from Sally, with people's eye movements, because uh, it's the eye movements which are the clue to what the character is thinking and feeling, and the music is very often there precisely to illustrate what the character is thinking and feeling, even though you're not actually hearing it directly. 